Yesterday, on December 2nd, 2013, Palo Alto Vikings head coach Earl Hansen ended his 26-year career, marking the end of an era in Palo Alto football history. All right, so uh, what were some of the factors that contributed to you uh, making this big decision? Well, one of the factors was I, uh, as far as my retirement and everything, this is I max out this year. So as far as that, my retirement won't go up anymore. And uh, what were some of like your favorite memories or, or favorite things that you that you have when you look back on the 26 years here? There's a lot of favorite memories. You know, you can start with a 95 championship when my son was a quarterback, the 2010 uh, state championship. I mean, those are pretty special. And uh, do you have any like advice for, for students like growing up that might not have been able, that are not going to have be able to have your coaching in the future? just on how like what to do in high school sports and and eventually in the future yeah i i want all the i want the kids to get out there and play uh there's no other sport like football you know you, there's no sport where you really have to work together no team sport it comes close you know everybody's dependent on everybody else uh the hard work that goes into it all contributes to people that go on and are successful do you have any uh, Do you have any plans for anything like coaching or anything like that in the future? At this point, I do not. But it's I'm not ruling that out either. Uh, uh, Hanson was just a great coach overall. He made me go to my best potential on the field, and he was just a great coach to have for the last two years. I don't know if it's my favorite memory, but I, I, I think the one thing I uh, will remember about Coach Hansen is his expediency in answering emails. He was uh, very efficient. Anytime I had a question for him, uh, the response was real quick. Um, other than that, um, the, the state championship a few years ago, not many coaches have that opportunity to go to state, which he did twice, much less win the whole thing. So uh, that was an incredible time. You know, they were the underdogs and you know, they came up with a win. Seeing him around school in his famous white mustache 